بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مقاصد is an Arabic word that means the objectives the purpose the end the principle um, in, in French that would be finalité in German that would be like svek in Greek would be telos like it's something that has to do with the meaning uh, and the objective of uh, the sharia so maqasid al sharia are the objectives of the sharia uh, they are in daily language the answer of the question of why uh, oftentimes we do not ask why uh, we ask what and we ask how uh, and we ask when and where so we focus on the when and where and the what and the how but we do not focus on the why uh, once we think in terms of why then we take our thinking about the sharia to the higher level of uh, akhlaq of ethics and morals uh, the higher level of principles uh, and these why theories of the sharia scholars had put a number of theories over the centuries um, they range from meanings like justice and equality and common good and facilitation etc to the famous um, theory of the preservation of mind and soul and and so forth um, the question of why is a question that is very important to ask because if i deal with islam uh, as traffic lights you know i stop in front of the red and i go with the green and I don't ask why the traffic light, uh, that is a problem because uh, sometimes um, the traffic light thinking is not enough. Uh, sometimes the, you, know, you go to a different country and uh, the lights are not green or red, they are different colors. So how are you gonna deal with that if you don't understand that red is for the stopping and green is for the going? Uh, sometimes you are a driver of an ambulance and you need to go through the red light in order to save a life. For example, um, we need to understand why in order to have the spirit of stopping in front of the traffic light. So yes, Islam is a number of rules that we follow, but once we ask, why is this the case? Why am I forbidden to do that? Why am I obliged to do that? And, and then I do what I have to do with a good spirit and with a motivation to uh, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, with awareness and consciousness. Um, we have a problem sometimes in our Islamic thought and Islamic thinking that we do not ask why, we just follow blindly. And sometimes we follow opinions that are wrong. Uh, and because we didn't ask why, the opinion didn't make sense, but we followed it anyway, and it causes damage and it causes harm um, and the Sharia is not here to cause damage or harm. The Sharia is a way of life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent, Shara Yashru, another Arabic word that means an Islamic way of life that is divine, that is divinely prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Al Fiqh, which is the law, uh, is something that we understand from the Sharia. So the Fiqh is human. But the Sharia is divine, the Sharia is complete, and the Sharia is perfect. But our fiqh, our understanding, is not necessarily complete. In fact, it's never complete. It's always a human understanding of the Sharia. Um, fiqh could be right and could be wrong. And fiqh could change with the change of time. And that is why maqasid al-Sharia are very important, because maqasid al-Sharia um, tell us the fiqh that is right from the fiqh that is wrong and tell us why and how we could change fiqh with the change of time. So how do you judge if the fiqh is right or wrong by going back to Maqasid al-Sharia? Ibn al-Qayyim, one of the great scholars of Islam, said that Sharia is all about justice, mercy, wisdom, and common good. So these, they call them the four principles in that knowledge uh, of Maqasid al-Sharia. Uh, wisdom, mercy, common good, and justice. Then he said every opinion that takes Sharia from being about justice to being about injustice, then it is not Sharia. Even if somebody claims for it to be Sharia according to an interpretation. So this give us, it gives us a criteria 
on judging the right interpretation from the wrong interpretation. The Quran is always correct. The Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the interpretation is not always correct. Sometimes you have a correct interpretation and sometimes you have an incorrect interpretation. If the interpretation is compatible with maqasid al-shari'a of justice and common good and wisdom and mercy, then it is a correct interpretation. And if it is not compatible with these higher values and principles of Islam, then it is a wrong interpretation. And that is how we can live Islam in today's world with the change of circumstances and the um, emergence of many, many new opinions. Uh, that's how we can judge the right opinions from the wrong opinions. And that is why it is a very important topic that I urge everybody to read about. Alhamdulillah.